Hi everyone, my name is David Looms. I thought you might like to see my uh, slightly different from normal PCNC 440. Um, first of all, what have I got in this little room? Well, over this side, there's my splendid old Myford lathe converted to computer control. Uh, in the middle, I have the computer that I use to control both of them, running my 3. And on this side, yes, it's sort of my PCNC 440. The thing that's different about this one, though, is it goes backwards. Um, let me zoom in on the uh, spindle. It's currently set for 500 RPM on the low speed spindle, and there it goes forward normal rotation. <coughs> and I can stop it again. Oh, it'll go backwards. That's done on the standard motor, on the standard motor drive. Um, just a couple of extra bits of wire added. A little bit of custom programming in my 3. Um, and if I take the spindle speed up to its max in the low speed spindle, 5000 RPM. <coughs> okay, there we have it going forward. And I can put it straight into reverse. And it stops nicely before accelerating the other direction. And I can go to full speed forward again. And I'll stop it at that. That's pretty good for a mill that's not supposed to be able to reverse its spindle. Um, <coughs> now you may know my 3 doesn't support CAN tapping cycles, uh, and I use Fusion 360, which bizarrely doesn't support expanding them. Um, so I had to change the post a little bit myself. Um, but this, if I had a tapping head, and I don't yet, but one might be in my future, this might just work. See what you think. OK, 500 RPM is not bad speed for running a tap on the low speed spindle. I reckon a tension comp compression head might just work like that. Let me know what you think. I'll let it run for a little bit longer and you can watch it. Okay, I think I'll do. So I'll bring it to stop at that. And thanks for watching.